Hundreds of power crews working their way from one outage to the other. Maine's largest power company calling in backup from Connecticut, New York, even Canada to help turn the lights back on. Siblings Jack and Alex Bernier worried about their neighbors. There's elderly people on the road. I know there's a couple of people that had like appointments today that they've had to cancel on. So it's just, you know, we're excited to hopefully get the tree out of the way relatively soon. Around the corner, the York family lost power about midnight. Right now, they're busy clearing the cars and driveway. The power goes out here when the wind blows. So we're used to this pretty much, unfortunately. They have a whole checklist when it comes to surviving storms and power outages. Usually there's like a sequence of events. We start with plowing out the driveway and getting the vehicles secured so that we can get out of here if we can. So that's what we're working on right now. And when I say we, I say I really mean my husband. Ten-year-old Nolan wasn't much help. So I see the folks are out here shoveling away and you're inside playing games. Yep. You don't like the snow? No, I don't. Um, it's, I mean, it's better than rain. The good news, the Yorks have a generator. We help lug it into place. A wood stove has already been fired up to keep them warm for now. And here's Molly, the family snow dog, jumping for joy. And, and does that happen to be a pool behind that fence? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's my kind of day. Yeah, it's an ice skating rink right now. All right, and we're just getting word right now that the uh, Cumberland Town Hall, it's just the next town over, really right down the road from where I am, uh, has opened up as a warming shelter. They have uh, cots and blankets, also hot coffee and uh, water if you want to head over there. Uh, they are open for business. So right now we're live in Falmouth. Jim Keithley, WMTW News 8.